Are you looking for the best lawn sweepers? In this video, we will look at some of the best lawn sweepers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. AgriFab 45-049244 inch lawn sweeper. At 44 inches, the sturdy toe-behind lawn sweeper from AgriFab is big enough to make quick work of tidying up large lawns, yet not so large that it's difficult to maneuver around corners. The flow-through hopper holds up to 25 cubic feet of lawn debris and is designed to fill from the back towards the front, so it will fill up completely, unlike some other hoppers that tend to fill up partially at the front of the bag and then stop collecting more debris until you empty the hopper. We love that you don't even have to get off your riding mower to empty the hopper if you don't want to, the long steel lever is easily reached right from your seat. Give it a pull, and the back of the hopper drops open to unload the leaves and other debris onto your compost heap, gathering tarp, or ground. The sweeper has an adjustable hitch so you can match it to just about any lawn tractor or riding mower's hitch, and you can also adjust the height of the 12-inch diameter brushes to suit the height of your turf. The brushes spin at a 5.6 to 1 ratio, meaning that for every turn of the 12-inch wheels, the brushes spin 5.6 times for effective gathering not just of leaves and grass clippings, but also of pine cones, twigs, acorns, and other reasonably small lawn debris. And once you are finished sweeping and have emptied the hopper, it can be collapsed for easy storage. The only downsides to this useful lawn care tool are that it does take an hour or so for assembly, and while we feel it's worth the price, it's not inexpensive. At Number 2 Earthwise LSW7002121 inch push lawn sweeper. If you have a fairly small lawn and just need a sweeper to pick up dry, fallen leaves or grass clippings, and you don't mind putting in some effort yourself, we love the affordably priced Earthwise push sweeper. It has a 21 inch cutting path, so you can easily maneuver it through garden gates or around obstacles, and its collection bag holds up to 3.4 cubic feet of materials. If you have a very large amount of fallen leaves, You'll need to stop and dump occasionally while you work, but it's not too difficult to remove the bag for emptying when needed. Keep in mind, though, that the fuller the bag, the more it will weigh, and you do need to lift this bag off the sweeper to empty it, it's not like a toe-behind sweeper with a hopper that opens for emptying. You can adjust the height of the eight brushes for more effective lawn sweeping, but note that this lawn care tool is only suited to gathering up dried leaves or grass clippings. It is not recommended for pine cones, wet leaves, acorns, or other heavy lawn debris. It can be a bit tricky to assemble, as well. However, it's a good option as long as you recognize its limitations, and at only 14 pounds it's easy to maneuver and to store. At Number 3. AgriFab 45-0546 52-inch Lawn Sweeper. If you have a large lawn with lots of trees that drop heavy loads of leaves in the fall, then you'll appreciate this hefty toe-behind sweeper from AgriFab, which has an impressive 52-inch sweeping path and hopper capacity of 26 cubic feet. Go ahead and hitch it to your lawn tractor or riding mower, set the brush level to around half an inch below the top of the grass, and head out across your lawn. The sweeper easily handles dried leaves and grass clippings and does well even with damp clippings, acorns, pine cones, fallen tree nuts, and other types of lawn debris. The hopper fills from back to front, so it won't get blocked or stop collecting leaves before you are through. And once you do have your lawn nicely swept, just head over to your compost heap, trash area, or collection tarp, pull the rope to drop the back of the hopper, and let it easily unload. The sweeper has 6 10-inch brushes with a 4.5 to 1 ratio, meaning that the brushes make 4.5 complete spins for every complete spin of the 11-inch wheels. The hopper collapses for easier storage, but keep in mind that this is a large, heavy product, so it's going to need quite a bit of space in your garage or outdoor shed. It does require significant assembly time, but once you have it put together, it will help keep your lawn looking its best season after season. At Number 4. Scott's Outdoor Power LSW70026S 26-inch Push Lawn Sweeper. If your lawn isn't large, you don't own a riding mower, or you simply prefer a tool that is powered by your own exertions, we think this push lawn sweeper from Scott's Outdoor Products is an excellent choice. Like all push lawn sweepers, it does best with dry leaves or grass clippings, it won't easily pick up pine cones, acorns, twigs, or wet lawn debris. However, according to the manufacturer, it will pick up 80% of dry leaves or clippings in a single pass. It has a 26-inch sweeping path, 
which is large enough to get the job done quickly, yet still easy enough to maneuver around obstacles or through gates. The hopper holds up to 4.5 cubic feet of lawn debris and easily lifts off the frame for emptying into your trash or compost heap. You can adjust the height of the eight brushes to suit your lawn, it's best to position the brushes no more than a quarter inch or so above the height of your grass, as otherwise, the sweeper will tend to miss leaves. It also does best when rolling over flat turf, so this might not be a good choice if your lawn is very bumpy or uneven. It is, however, a great product for sweeping artificial turf free of fallen leaves. Assembly is fairly straightforward and should take no longer than 10 to 15 minutes. And at a lightweight 17 pounds, it's easy to maneuver the sweeper into your garage or shed for storage when leaves stop falling for the season.